welcome to the video. I want to thank you guys for clicking on this one. I really do appreciate it, but I also really appreciate everyone who watched my first video. Uh, it means a lot to me that you guys took the time to watch something that I made. And because of the first video, I, you know, I threw some terms out there that are pretty common for me because I'm wrapped up in this lifestyle, but may not be as common to some of you guys out there. And one of those questions, one of the biggest questions are, what is macros? What are macros? Uh, what are they? So in this video, I want to address that question. And before I answer that question, I want to go ahead and give a little disclaimer. So, you know, what, what gives me the credibility to answer this question or how did I figure out these, the definition to, the, to what a macro is? Well, I, I've read a lot online. Um, I follow a lot of fitness YouTubers like this. And I also, you know, when I first started out, I read a lot of articles online talking about nutrition and macros and training styles and everything to do fitness wise. A lot of stuff I read, you know, I, I tried, it didn't work or, you know, it, it was irrelevant, but some stuff was great and some stuff, you know, is standard across the board. And some stuff like this is just, you know, it's pretty, it's general knowledge once you go out there looking for it. So that's how I know, you know, I didn't go to school for this. Uh, I didn't take any classes for this, but you know, I did do a lot of research on my own and I've done a lot of trial and error on myself. So let's begin. Um, a macro is essentially your calories. And a calorie, there's, there's three different types of calories. You've got calories coming from fats, calories coming from proteins, and calories coming from carbohydrates. Each calorie, depending on where it comes from, um, has different, uh, like a caloric value. So a carb has four calories, a, a protein has four calories, and a gram of fat has nine calories. <laughs> so not all calories are created equal, if you could say. Every gram of fat, protein, and carbs will make up your macros. So macros is kind of an umbrella uh, term that just essentially means how many fats, carbs, and proteins can you eat in a day for your, for your weight to either go up, down, or remain the same. And in bodybuilding, when we say weight going up, we refer to bulking. When we say weight going down, we refer to it as cutting. And when we say, when we want our weight to remain constant, we call that maintaining. And I'll, I'll get into that you know, that could, that could be a whole nother video. I could get into that a little later on, but I, I really just want to touch on macros right now. So to give you an example of someone's macros, I'll, I'll give you my own personal macros right now. I'm in a bulk, which means I'm slowly increasing my calories week to week. Well, for me, every two weeks, I'm increasing my calories so that I'm gaining weight. And you really don't want to gain more than one to two pounds of, of weight per week because you're gonna start putting on uh, you know, excess fat. You're gonna put on some excess fat anyway when you're bulking, but you kinda of wanna minimize that and that's what we call a lean bulk. So right now, my macros are 300 grams of carbs every day, 50 to 60 grams of fat every day, and 170 to 180 grams of protein every day. Now you might ask, how do you set up those macros? How, how do you even come up with those numbers? Well, that's a great question. For me, I, I just kind of played with it. Um, I just ate some food at a certain, uh, certain macros and watched my weight. Did it go up, did it go down, or did it stay the same? As a recap, macros are calories. And calories are broken into three different groups. Fats, carbs, and proteins. And when you say the word, what are your macros? It's how many of those carbs, fats, and proteins you're eating a day to either gain weight, lose weight, or maintain your current weight. Now that you know what macros are, you might say, how do I track those macros? Well, let me tell you, the best way to track macros is to use a tool. And that tool is a scale. A scale is going to be your very best friend. 
if, if you really want to take control of your weight. You know, you can use measuring spoons and measuring cups. That's fine, you know, if you don't have a scale and that's all you have. But to be, you know, the most accurate using a scale is going to be your best bet. You know, it's got, let me show you. On the back, it's got uh, a little option. I mean, obviously, depending on the scale that you get, um, it all have different settings, but typically it's going to have grams and ounces. So if you look on the back of the food label, let me show you. In the previous video, Cinnamon Toast Crunch, you know, that, that was the best food out there, right? So we might as well use it as, again as an example. As you can see by the food label, it shows total fat, 3 grams, total carbohydrate, 25 grams and total grams of protein one and your serving size is 31 grams so you know you put a bowl on the scale you hit tear to zero it out and then you dump it in there until it says 31 grams and that's when now you have one serving so one serving means three grams of fat 25 grams of protein and I mean I'm sorry 25 grams of carbs and one gram of protein so that, that's how you track your macros. And you don't have to you know, write it down in a notebook or on an Excel spreadsheet. Uh, if you have a smartphone, you can use MyFitnessPal. Best app you are gonna find for tracking macros. The best thing about the app is there's a little barcode scanner on there. So if you're, you're trying to find a, a food and you're searching for it, you just click that barcode scanner and you can scan it like you're in the store, like you, like you work for Publix like you work for Publix, you got your own personal scanner. You just scan the barcode and it auto populates all the information for you and you just have to adjust you know, how many servings you put in there or what. But the key to that is a scale. You're not gonna be able to do that without it. Everyone needs a toolkit and for bodybuilding, a scale is our tool. So I wanna thank everyone for watching this video. If you made it to the end, I really do appreciate it. And like I said, this video you know, the idea for me to create this video was because you guys asked for it. So if you guys have anything else you want to see, please feel free to comment below and let me know. And I'd be happy to make another one for you. You guys have a good one.